Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the live stream. Today we are of course going to be trading NQ again with the Polarity Automated Trading Interface. We're gonna be starting out here because of this range that's forming here and this large amount of chop. We are going to be putting it into regression mode. We're not going to be arming it just yet, but at this point, we're just looking for some kind of volatility as we are not trading the market open. Starting a little bit later today because I didn't like the opportunities that we were looking at at market open. But at this point, we just need to wait for some kind of spike in volatility before we arm it in both directions. Getting actually a pretty good amount of price movement inside of this bar. It's been less than a minute and we're already getting a full new bar. I think we're going to be arming it in both directions at this point. Trying to look for a pullback here. Uh, NQ trades a little bit differently where you cannot have defined and set ranges like you can at yes. You're looking for more of a um, slight poke out and looking to get back inside of a range. As you can see, we're actually getting pretty strong momentum up here. We might have to switch to trend mode if we don't fill pretty soon. The, however, the presence of this previous chop zone, we might find consolidation in this area. However, I'm not too worried about selection bias as we can still get filled in either direction. Okay, we actually did just get filled there. So that was actually a long trade in regression. Exactly what I was talking about with selection bias not being super important. So we're of course going to be queuing up another trade by arming it in both directions. All right, that's pretty great. We got an easy fill on the first trade there. We're at 703 and then we just got our second fill into a short trade a couple of seconds after we just got filled on that one. So we saw a long imbalance form and that put us into a short trade. Of course, we are going to be queuing up for the arm here. Of course, as I am trading midday, volatility is going to be a little bit lower at market open or power hour. Another pretty simple fill there, of course, we're, we're trying to take advantage of this chop here, so we're leaving it in regression mode. And there we actually got filled into a long trade here. Um, hopefully we get an early regression bounce. You know, this is one of those times where I think I'm actually going to move my stop at least down to inside of this green zone. You know, I think that in order to make sure that I'm not biased on this, I am going to be moving this all the way up to inside of that to equalize it out. We want to be making sure that we're getting at least a one to one over score ratio, especially on NQ where you can actually experience some pretty intense slippage. So that seems pretty good to me. Oh, almost forgot to arm it in both directions again. So we're queuing up the next order. Really slow trade. Pretty awesome fill there. That was actually a pretty big one. Once again, that was 46 ticks instead of, okay, we actually just got filled again into another trade. Of course, we're gonna be arming it in both directions. Once again, if we get stuck out here, we're going to be putting it in trend mode, of course. And if we get filled, we're keeping it in regression. At least at this point, we're out of the hole that we made ourselves yesterday. Pretty perfect fill on that one. Really filling out this range with these automated bands marked by the AC4 Plus. You know, guys, I actually really think that we're gonna call it there. $3,000 on the day, I feel really happy about that. So I don't think we had any losses that whole session and we didn't do any mode switches. So kept in regression the whole time and after a ton of ticks. So thanks so much for guys for tuning in. I really appreciate you guys' support and yeah.